Infinity Ward is actually removing content in Modern Warfare 2's Season 4 update. We're going to go through what's going on here in today's video. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. But first up here, as you guys probably know by now, Season 4 is releasing next week on Wednesday, June 14th. At these times up on screen, our big reveals here will either be tomorrow or on Thursday. So tomorrow is Wednesday, which is a week before the update comes out. As you guys know, like every update gets revealed exactly one week before we get a gameplay trailer, a blog post. So I'll be streaming tomorrow on this YouTube channel to react to that reveal, break it all down. I'll be doing some giveaways on stream as well and in my Discord down below, so links will be down below to that as well. But on Thursday, we're also getting a Summer Games Fest live stream at 3 p.m. Eastern, which they teased Call of Duty will be a part of, so that could also be another chance to see some Season 4 marketing, early gameplay, or even a sneak peek at Modern Warfare 3. So I'll be streaming Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern as well, so stay tuned for all of that, have notifications on, all that good stuff. But for some more news here, we have Hardcore Battle Royale for Almazra leaking out, which is super, super interesting. Don't know when that's going to happen. It might not be for Season 4. I haven't heard any other leaks about this besides for what just came out today here. This could be for maybe Season 4 Reloaded Season 5, but let me know down below what could a Hardcore Battle Royale look like. I mean, interesting stuff there. But for this video here, we're going to focus mostly on DMZ Vondel. What we're getting here, again, if you don't know, Vondel is the new Warzone Resurgence map releasing next week with Season 4. I did a whole video breaking down a bunch of content for for season four MP maps, a whole breakdown with Vondel and all stuff like that. That video will be linked down below in the description. But of course, again, next week we're getting Vondel as a resurgence map, but DMZ support for Vondel might not be until a bit after. It could be a week later, two weeks later, maybe a month later with season four reloaded. We don't know exactly when DMZ support will be added to the map. But I honestly don't mind it releasing a bit after season four is launched, especially if it's gonna have a lot of new content in terms of new missions, uh, we're of course getting a couple new bosses that we'll talk about later on in the video, new easter eggs, other side quests, other major DMZ updates. I mean, if there's a lot of stuff in this new map experience, I don't mind waiting a couple weeks to a month after its initial launch for Warzone Resurgence. So let me know down below your opinions on that. Of course, if you're not really a Warzone fan and you just want to play DMZ, it might suck to have to wait a little bit, but again, I'm not too mad at that as long as the final product is super cool and fun and all that good stuff. And we're also getting again at Vondel Day and Night, which I'm assuming will also be for DMZ as well. I mean, this seems to be like a pretty solid update here for Warzone and DMZ. So again, we'll see very soon. The map looks really cool. Again, it's based on that campaign mission from MW2, the Amsterdam one, which I've shown to you guys so many times now. You guys know what it looks like here. It's going to be pretty solid and we should be getting a reveal and full look at it very, very soon any day now. But now for what IW is removing here what is going on with iw and dmz here so here's some tweets that they tweeted out a couple days ago there are many exciting additions coming to dmz in season four updates will include a refresh and reset like that of season two in order to make room for new mission sets and upgrade redacted faction missions progress will be reset in lieu of the new ability to earn faction redacted new faction there of course contraband key and mission inventories will be emptied Insured weapon slots will be reset as we introduce new ways to unlock them and earn rewards such as blueprints, skins, and calling cards will not be affected. So first off here, I don't know why they're doing this again. For season two, it made sense because they were making the missions and the way to get your insured slots a lot easier. A lot of the DMZ missions in the higher tiers of those factions were super, super difficult, at least in my opinion, it just took too much time, didn't make a lot of sense and they made it a lot easier and a lot more doable and I, I do appreciate them doing that and i understand why you had to reset the progress there to bring those new missions in and all that stuff so I, I got it for season two but you know i honestly thought they wouldn't do it again but they're doing it again here for contraband key stuff i mean if you're playing a lot of dmz and you're collecting a huge inventory of a ton of stuff to get that reset is kind of annoying honestly it's kind of a waste of your time for getting all that stuff and then having it reset unless you use it all in the next week or so so you have a week to use all that stuff but for a lot of people you're not playing dmz every single day every single hour of the day so it kind of you know eventually goes to waste there now if you don't have a whole you know inventory of a lot of stuff then it's not a big deal to you but still kind of annoying uh the insured weapon slot stuff I don't mind that as much honestly you know even though it is annoying I, I get why you would do that there it's not too hard to get back and Lego unlocked a you know pretty big DMZ player has some opinions on this here I don't mind DMZ getting reset I like the missions getting reset as this is the best part of DMZ and going to be fun with the new missions I, I agree as well I mean doing the new missions is fun but 
having to reset what we already had is kind of annoying. Maybe just adding on even more missions would be a solution. Maybe they can't do that. I don't know. However, I'm not too fond of contraband weapons being wiped. I like to save weapons from interesting battles and games as trophies. DMZ doesn't have an economy, so I don't fully see the point of contraband wipes. Someone responded, I think they're probably doing it due to all the insured weapons duplicated across this wipe. Maybe they have something in the works to fix that. So they want to start everyone fresh, which is interesting as well. There have been a lot of duplication glitches and stuff like that. Yeah, but with the 15 minute cooldown blueprints, you could trade with a friend and fill up a whole contraband stash with meta weapons in a single night. Just true as well, I guess. I see the idea of what they're going for, but it'll most likely only have an impact on the first day. So I don't know, let me know down below your opinions on this here. I would rather them not do this here and just have a continuous thing. Obviously glitches get in the way and the, you know, semi pay to win DMZ bundles don't help the situation whatsoever, but I would rather them not do this here and just kind of add on the missions and then add on more slots to save more weapons and save more keys and all that stuff. I would rather just them expand DMZ more like that instead of have to reset and do everything. I, I understand why they're doing it, but I would rather them not do it. And an in-game economy would be pretty sick to have as well, honestly. You know, having your contraband weapons here in your inventory, being able to trade them with people, being able to actually use them a bit more than you do right now would make a lot more sense than just having them, saving them up, and then eventually they just get reset. Like, it's kind of weird. And LEGO makes a good point too, like finding a cool weapon from a certain gunfight from a certain area on the map in, you know, from Building 21 or wherever else you find this weapon there, having that in your inventory is super, super cool, or getting a certain really cool blueprint from a specific real-life player that you killed in DMZ and saving that, that's kind of sick to have, so having that reset every couple months kind of defeats the purpose and ruins the fun there, so I don't know, let me know down below your opinions on that here. Hopefully, again, for DMZ with MW3, if it does return, they have more of a streamlined approach and they're not kind of, you know, this is DMZ in the beta form. So I, I do want to cut them some slack there because this is not the full final version of DMZ and they're still trying to improve and, you know, DMZ will evolve even more. So it's not a big deal right now, but hopefully for MW3, it gets a bit more of a streamlined approach here and everything is a bit more simple and smooth and we have an in-game economy. We have a lot more features there. Missions are very streamlined. They don't have to change them and reset every so often and everything just makes a lot more sense there. So let me know down below what ideas you guys have for DMZ to improve DMZ in the future if you agree or disagree with these changes here. And again, I don't like IW removing stuff from this game overall. Really, really annoying, but I kind of get it. So let me know down below your opinions on that. But overall, that's it here for this video. Again, let me know if you're excited for this new update. I think season four could be a solid update overall. We're getting some MP content. Of course, Warzone slash DMZ seems like the bigger part of the update here with a whole new map experience. Uh, you know, look, we'll see how big of a deal it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a big deal from the leaks we're seeing here. There's a lot of stuff happening with Vondel. Vondel should be one of the bigger updates we get throughout the entire DLC seasons of MW2, which I don't want to hype it up, but it just seems like we're getting a lot of stuff out of it. Day and Night Cycle, new missions, DMZ, Warzone Resurgence, Warzone BR as well, some MP stuff there, a whole new location. I mean, it, it seems pretty cool. So again, we'll see very soon tomorrow and on Thursday, potentially for some gameplay trailers, reveals. We'll break it all down on the channel. Let me know down below your opinions on all of this stuff here, but be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. Be sure to join the Discord down below. Kick down below for live streams as well. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.